Hi, I'm Sush. I'm very happy to do this little video. Uh, it's actually a very uh, random, uh, quick sketch of a little girl with a cotton hair, or if you want, with a hair which looks like a little cloud. Uh, I did it. Uh, I, I did this sketch because uh, first I'm at the moment I'm trying to figure out how to draw a hair. And hair has always been my struggle, personal struggle, and I, I, I do like experiment on on it. Actually, it's uh, I mean there are a lot of, lots of courses, of course, and how to do uh, online, uh, but sometimes I like to just you know try to focus on something which I can do myself like develop own whatever so it's it's actually very interesting when you um, uh, develop a character um, so you have an idea like uh, I want to draw a little girl like I woke up uh, this morning with this idea I think I want to draw a little girl and then I thought like what kind of little girl so I just sit down and just did the sketch and actually the hair I'm pretty sure that a couple of days ago I have seen some cotton buds somewhere and hence <laughs> the cotton bud hair like that so uh, it can be you know eyes and nose and, and lips and face and everything can be drawn um, in a numerous ways every every um, person uh, has this particular something uh, uh, illustrator for example they, they do it with their eyes or whatever and what I like is to see okay how I can do it in other way and um, if you will be interested one of future videos I will try to show you um, how I'm playing with the character for example whatever and uh, you can even, uh, I mean, if you want to participate, you can uh, write in a comment what kind of character you would like me to develop, like, for example, an old lady or uh, an old couple or a young boy or young girl, whatever, you know, sailor or cook or teacher, <laughs> uh, something like that. So um, it's it's quite interesting, but it, it is also interesting as a personal challenge, you know, when you're just sitting and thinking, hey, I want to, you know, draw someone, uh, what could it be? So, uh, here I'm using uh, just uh, watercolor pencils for the girl's hair, because I wanted the hair to be very light, you know, um, to be very uh, cotton, cotton-like. So, um, I'm using at least uh, four or uh, five colors. So it's uh, light gray and dark gray and black. And then there is um, orange. And then there is a uh, very pale yellow. Because when I was looking closely uh, at a cotton bar, I, I saw that it has uh, some tints, which is actually uh, very, um, always very interesting for me to uh, look very, very closely at something something very simple or uh, nature given like like this and, and see how can I how can I um, adjust it and you know how can I stylize it and make it into a drawing because I do like uh, drawing uh, people and I do enjoy drawing children um, so they're endless source of an inspiration and uh, hair is always a tricky thing for me, so <laughs> I'm trying to, to work on, on hair. In the end of this video, um, I will be... In, in the end of this video, I will be working just with the pencil on top of the watercolor, but not everywhere, just on edges. So, for example, right now you can see that the line of the girl's face, uh, her cheek when it meets the hair. So this is done with a watercolor like face and hair is done with a pencil. And the line 
you can see it's very sharp it's very distinct line uh, between so to merge the line to make it a little bit softer when it will be the final stage of the illustration I will you will see that I'm working just on the edges with um, I think it's light uh, light brown pencil color uh, to make the edges so soft and to kind of blend them and make this uh, illustration um, become whole you know because when you work with different media uh, sometimes um, it's nice I mean at least I, I think how I see it it's nice to um, to blend to somehow you know take um, try to put, put, put them together and um, Maybe I should have I should have said uh, at, at at the time that I will be actually doing it. But and on the edge of the hair, I don't want to uh, I don't want it to be very sharp too. So I'm trying to do uh, a little bit soft to soften it a little bit on the uh, on the outline of the hair as well. Uh, so I have been working on this uh, sketch for one hour just because of the hair because you know you, you need to um, to to make it very very gradient to make it very uh, tender make it very uh, slow mm. <laughs> I like her very much uh, she reminds me of I <laughs> I'm actually um, I'm laughing at myself because uh, I remember I, I don't know where I heard it but I heard that the, the artist uh, is the one who is never or very seldom uh, satisfied with his work and so I was always thinking that well probably I'm this kind of different kind of artist because most of the time I'm um, feeling happy <laughs> when you see the work done because uh, it takes so much um, delight you know uh, drawing it and bringing it up to life from just the lifeless uh, pencil outline sketch that uh, whenever I look at her I'm like oh hello there little one and I don't know why did I um, dress her in the bathing suit or gymnastic suit, but uh, to me it's bathing suit because probably I'm looking forward uh, to the time when we will wear um, swimsuits. Um, so, okay, here is the final stage and here is the pencil that I've been speaking before and I'm trying to make some shadows but at the same time I'm working as here on the lines to make it you know very soft when they meet the hair thank you for watching the video and if you have some questions please write them in the comment um, I will be happy to answer and have a good day